welcome to Shelf Starters. I'm Rosie and today I'm actually going to try something a little bit different which is a reading vlog. I've attempted many of these and never actually made it through so hopefully we actually can get through this one. Um, today I'm going to try and read all of The Eye of the World, the first book in the Wheel of Time series. So everyone's been talking about this at the moment. I mean I know it's been it's been around for a very long time. It's very famous, one of the you know, most well-known fantasy books of all time. But in particular, everyone's talking about it right now because of the Amazon series. So I thought I kind of needed to see if I could get in on the hype and um, hopefully I'll enjoy it. I've, well, I am already enjoying it. I've started reading it. So it's the afternoon now. I spent all morning actually um, reading it and I'm about halfway through um, and just came back from a walk as well and also got it on audiobook so I could enjoy it um, during the walk and hopefully also like while I'm eating and stuff today. So I just really don't have to put it down at all. So yeah, we'll see how we go. Um, yeah, I think I'm now going to make some food and then um, get right into it. So I realized after having lunch and things that I never actually told you what this book's about. So I thought we'd do a little bit of a quick summary, very quick, <laughs> um, so far. So basically this starts in very similar way to Lord of the Rings and I don't even know Lord of the Rings that well, but it was immediately apparent to me. So, um, we're in a small like country town there, we're following a sort of teenage boy, I guess, teenage, maybe young twenties, not really sure exactly how old he's supposed to be. Um, and he sees this weird stranger come in who, um, is like, seems to be glaring at him on horseback. Um, and then when he comes back to the town, he realizes that his two other friends have also seen this stranger. So, um, that's a bit weird. And then, um, <laughs> then what? Then, uh, there are apparently three other strangers also in the town. And so people are wondering, like, is it, was it the, this person, um, turns out no, uh, the three other strangers are um, a woman and her companion who is like a, a like protector kind of person. The woman's like some sort of witch um, called an Aes Sedai, um, which I don't totally understand <laughs> what they are yet, um, at her like warrior protector person. Um, and then another guy who does cool like tricks and, um, and songs and storytelling kind of thing, like a performer, I guess, an entertainer. Um, and it's also a big festival. So that's the part that really reminds me of the Lord of the Rings opening kind of scenes where there's the big um, party and everything. So it feels very much like that kind of vibe, everyone's celebrating, and then they all get attacked by, um, I guess, these, like, they're called Trollocs, um, which, again, also feels very similar to Orcs. But um, they're different in the sense that they are sort of like half men, half beasts, and they have, like, each one has kind of a different face as far, um like kind of different different animal um that they they look like i suppose um and so they like sort of ransack the town it's a big battle scene um the main character rand who we were following at the beginning discovers um that his father is suddenly very good in battle so there's a bit of like a where's he from what's going on there sort of situation he pulls out a massive um traditional sword um that yeah also he's never seen before so um definitely some history to uncover there um and they have this big fight scene and um eventually the trollocs get uh i guess overpowered dispersed um by the magic woman um the Aes Sedai and her warrior person um who eventually tells Rand and his two friends that they're being hunted by the trollocs because um they think that they're he's the new dragon or something um basically like a ch chosen one kind of uh, trope to defeat the Dark One. So they all have to go um, run on this massive journey to get to the White Tower, which is where all the Aes Sedai, um, I guess, centre, like, like a kind of place of government kind of <laughs> building, I suppose, um, to find out which one of the three boys 
it is, I guess, and, um, and go from there. So that sort of sets off this big quest. Um, and on top of the three main male characters that we're following on that journey, we also have um, a female, Egwene, who is sort of Rand's love interest, um, as far as I can tell from this point. Um, and also Nynaeve, who is like the uh, magic woman of the of the town. She's, what are they called? They're called a, or the Wisdom. Um, it's really interesting kind of world in that um, the women have all the power at the moment due to some event that happened in history, which meant that if men, men try to use magic, they go insane. So all the magic powers are held by women at this point. So um, kind of interested to see how that plays out. Um, I will say, yeah, so the, the Lord of the Rings references at the moment, I've been told that they are intentional, um, that that is like supposed to be a... I guess a homage to Tolkien, but it does feel a little bit like we've read that before so far. So I don't love that as much, but I am really, really enjoying the characters and in particular loving the um, friendship group and just how they all interact together. It feels very much like you're there with them. Like they just feel like they could be your friends too. So um, yeah, I'm really, really keen to see how they all develop. Um, and at the point that I'm at, which is sort of like just over halfway through now, um, the whole group that has set up to to flee the Trollocs um, and go on this big journey have separated so they've, they've become separated into sort of three different little groups so I hope that they all I mean assume that they all meet up at some point towards the end um, but because they all know exactly where they're going so they're just gonna converge there I suppose um, but at the moment yeah they're all kind of separated off and having their own struggles and it's it's great that you get to see from the story from different characters points of view um and follow their different journeys because i think a lot of fantasy you know it's very much you just follow this one cho chosen one kind of person um whereas here you kind of do have that twist of who is the actual chosen one we don't really quite know yet i mean it's sort of like strongly leaning towards rand but we'll see um so yeah i'm really enjoying it so far um very keen to just keep reading all night basically until i get it done i've got about Actually, I'm more, more than halfway through. I'm um, 550 pages out of like 800. So I think I can definitely get this done um, by the end of tonight. So yeah, I'm going to snuggle up and continue and check in with you later. haven't mentioned which I think is really cool is we've got maps like this it's so hard to hold this up um actually throughout the book as well so not just at the beginning which is really cool so I can see exactly like where where our little group is heading which is very fun so I can't actually hold this and show you but they're going sort of bottom right to like mid right I guess <laughs> at the moment and I hope that's not spoilery for anyone because no one knows what these places actually mean until they read it. Anyway, yeah, I just thought that was really cool. I've never seen that in fantasy before. It's usually just a few maps, like, at the beginning. So, yeah. Got some fire ambience going on. Ready to settle in. So I've got just about under 100 pages left of um, The Eye of the World now, and I'd say the pace is really picking up, like you can tell we're getting to some big climax at the end, um, I really hope that <laughs> something really cool happens, um, and I'm still really enjoying it. I think um, that we're getting a lot of the three boys' perspectives and their characterization, um, and I love it. I like. I really like the characters, I think that's... Um, something that I can tell I'm going to get really attached to going forward in the series. I do hope that they expand a bit more on the female characters though because they seem really cool but I feel like they're not getting as much airtime. I'm not sure if that's accurate or just like my perspective. I don't know. Um, but yeah anyway I've got my glass of wine. I'm going to settle in for that last little bit and yeah we'll let you know how it goes. And I finished it. 
and I really liked it actually. Um, it's a bit of a surprise. I, I don't know why I was so hesitant going into this. I think um, I thought it was just really intimidating, I guess, because I know it's such a really long series and each book is like this big. So um, yeah, I don't know, but it, I really liked it. I thought it was um, you know, a good journey, like that classic quest kind of thing that I do enjoy. Really liked the characters, as I've said. Um, my only criticism is probably that the ending was like pretty rushed, but I, I see that quite a lot with these like epic fantasy journey kind of stories. So not all that unexpected, I suppose. And there's a lot here that like clearly needs to be built on for, and will be, I'm sure, the next like 13 books, um, a lot more. Like there's a lot more world building that um, bits that still need to be explained. It was a lot to keep up with. Like I'm not sure that reading it in one day is probably the ideal way to go, but I enjoyed getting like fully immersed in the world. Um, and yeah, I think I'm definitely going to keep reading. I've already ordered the next one and I've had a look at the trailer as well. And it looks really cool now that I actually understand like who each character is going to be and that sort of thing, having read the book, the trailer is much more exciting. So I'm definitely going to have a, have a look at that as soon as it comes out. And yeah, I'll keep reading. Let me know as well if you've watched this, um, sorry, watched this, read this. Um, are you a fan? What do you like? What don't you like? No spoilers for anyone, please, just in case everyone's still um, catching up. And especially because I also haven't finished the rest of the series. So yeah, but I would love to hear if, if you guys have read this. And yeah, thanks for watching. See you again next time. Bye.